How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, FaZe Crypto, and today we are looking at a $9,578 Bitcoin at the time of making this video. And of course, my prediction of seeing Bitcoin's price uh, going down before the halving is coming true, despite there were many people out there who were calling me an idiot for saying that uh, you know anything other than a complete and total bull run for Bitcoin was in store for us. But look at what you know. This is why you guys have have to tune in to the live streams. You guys got to watch the uh, technical analysis videos where you could see the method behind my madness. And this is another you know, place for me to be able to plug Cardano, um, plug the cryptos that I see as having a definite future. And of course, remember, this is in no way uh, a uh, indicative of me saying that Bitcoin long term doesn't have a future in for it. I would say I'm very bullish on Bitcoin long term, and I'm still a staunch Bitcoin advocate, but I would say I'm more of a fan of blockchain in general and decentralization being your own bank. The, you know, the initial philosophies of cryptocurrency and well, Bitcoin was indeed a great introduction to digital, digital assets. Essentially, it is still in and of itself a 2008 technology. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. The headlines, Wiki leaks a Bitcoin address, sees crazy number of donation, uh, Corona, uh, fear shakes up market, uh, but crypto remains unaffected. Um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies don't need catalysts anymore. Um, and of course, stock plunge oil falls, uh, gold jumps, Bitcoin question, question. Um, I think that, the, um, you know, just commenting on the sort of Corona um, aspect of it all, I think we did see Bitcoin's price uh, go up with a lot of the media attention that was corresponding with the sort of frenzy that's been happening with that. But uh, as we've seen a lot of the different headlines, um, you know, it is a big uh, issue. But at the same time, the public um, only sort of has a short attention span, even for not knowing their own good sort of things. And I think that it's important to just look at all the different aspects of uh, you know what Warren Buffett said in, in particular, uh, the Bitcoin as a storage. Um, but in, per, in particular, I mean, having a large amount of fear um, isn't necessarily something that corresponds with an actual uh, real concrete thing that's going on in the world, which may in fact and does affect a large portion of our lives. Regardless, I want to talk about Cardano it gets nearer to Shelley now um, that hard fork arrives. Um, here's how. Uh, so, of course, a couple days earlier on February 20th, Cardano succeeded in implementing a hard fork called Ouroboros B. EFT, the network now runs on a better consensus mechanism. Um, what is more, this is a big step towards implementing Shelly on the network. A recent blog post published on Medium explains why. When Cardano spread the world uh, spread the word about the hard fork launch on Twitter three days ago, it said that its upgrade was to pave the way for Shelly mainnet release. Uh, Cardano recently uh, outwent a mainnet hard fork uh, software protocol update on 2002 2020 we all remember that made a video uh, so once Shelly arrives the situation will change and those uh, restrictions will be removed um, so I mean it is important just to look forward to seeing um, these different developments that are happening uh, in alignment with uh, you know Cardano and of course uh, you know like I said plugging the sort of uh, aspect of a, of a real blockchain a, you know, potential to inherit the sort of corpse left behind by Bitcoin. Um, now, in particular, while we look at the issue of decentralization, uh, we look at the sort of philosophy of cryptocurrency, and in a big sense of the word, it, it is important with big capital letters to look at the actual challenges that Bitcoin faces moving forward. Uh, and of course, a lot of the stigma that's surrounding Bitcoin as well, uh, a lot of that sort of um, you know hard feelings don't necessarily go away, um, but. Uh, those are my perspectives currently. I mean, just looking at a couple of these different news updates, I won't have time to make a full 10 minute video today, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, of course, remember this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. You know, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad. I'm only here making this content, sharing my opinion. I also invite all of you to comment down below, telling us what you guys think about these recent news items that we covered. Um, you know, uh, $9,578 Bitcoin still facing that psychological resistance at 10,000. Um, definitely very interesting. Uh, now, of course, we do have top performers uh, coming in at 14% in the green. 
you know, wacky chain, and of course, uh, you know, many others. So, I mean, there is a silver lining, I would say, uh, long term, I mean, leading up to Bitcoin's halving, we might see the price even go further down. Um, but personally, I feel relatively um, indifferent to what's currently happening in the space. This is all sort of going according to the preparations that I made for myself. I, I try to be able to capitalize on the different events that happen in the scene. Um, you know, whether Bitcoin's going up or down, I want to be in a position to benefit from it. But that's all for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, comment down below, and of course, let us know the country that you guys are watching from. Have a good one.